You have been a great bloodsucker and safely made it through the winter. Summer has come round again. I have great expectations about you. Aloha everybody, it is I, the Great Clement, and I know I'm a little bit late with this video. <laughs> but here is the extra video of Mr. Mosquito. So I guess a lot of people have been asking, what happens when you get all of the X-Tanks in Mr. Mosquito, Clement? Well, what happens is you carry on through the winter, and that means you can survive to terrorize the Yamada family for another summer. That's right, there is a year two in Mr. Mosquito. And that doesn't mean there's an entirely new game here. Year two is basically hard mode. What happens is you go through the exact same levels that you did previously. The first level is still Rena in her room, and you just suck the same blood point, and that's it. The second level is the mother in the storeroom looking for her photo album, just like it was in the first year. And again, you go through the exact same 12 levels that you did previously. Now there are some slight alterations. Some of the dialogue has been changed to reflect that this is the second year. Uh, some of the clothes that the Yamada family is wearing are going to be different and some of the posters on their walls and stuff. Like, Rena's room has entirely new posters and stuff, so there's a little uh, cosmetic detail that you'll notice. Otherwise, it's the exact same thing, except for the battles. When one of the Yamada family spot you in year two, they will still attack you as they did in the first year, but now it takes a lot more effort in order to calm them down. Because in year one, it was like you had to hit two or three pressure points, you know? You had to hit, like, their hand, their chest, and maybe their foot, you know, and then that was it. But in year two, now you have to hit like five or six pressure points. Basically, it's not so easy to calm them down in year two. And uh, that's really the only extra difficulty of year two. Again, you're going through the exact same levels, the exact same blood points. I think maybe you have to suck a little bit more blood, like they'll actually add another container. I could be wrong about that, but honestly, it's the exact same game that I played through, just with some slightly different dialogue, and it's a little bit harder. Uh, you actually carry over all of the hearts that you got in the first year, so all of those heart rings you've been collecting come back for year two. Like, there's a whole new set of heart rings, the exact same set. Uh, they'll be in the exact same spots that they were year one, so will a new set of X-Tanks and all of the food, too. Uh, so you can actually get more health in year two than you had originally, and I actually think you don't really need all that extra health because the enemy's attacks do not get stronger or anything. They just have more pressure points. You know, when they slap you, it still takes only like half a heart off of you as it would in year one. So it is technically harder because you have a lot more pressure points to deal with in battle, uh, but it's not really that much harder. It's just a secondary year because why not? Let's have some replayability in this thing. And again, the dialogue is only slightly different. A lot of the conversations that the Yamada family will have are verbatim exactly what they were in year one. There are only a few sentences per cutscene that seem to change. We had a lot of trouble with mosquitoes last year. I expect we'll be bitten a lot this year too. Let them come. I'm already under waiting. Not again! And if this year's anything like last year, you'll be next. No way! <laughs> Things just never change. Kenichi is in exactly the same position watching TV as he did all last summer. Enjoy your reunion with Kenichi. Ayaka is hanging out in Rina's room. You sucked loads of blood from her last year but she doesn't seem to remember anything about it. She's relatively defenseless once more, and still delicious. Have fun. Wow, this is the first time that I've seen your room. What are you talking about? You came here a year ago. I'm gonna get some drinks. I'm really itchy. That was the first time that I've ever had an insect bite. Oh, it's so itchy, I could die. You were bitten last year, too. 
So the game plays out exactly like it did in the first year, and at the end of year two, if you've collected all the X-Tanks, if you've found everything you needed to find, the narrator explains this. All lives eventually come to an end. You, better than anyone, can appreciate the beauty of a brilliant, short life. You survived two winters and lived a full life that any mosquito could be proud of. I think that the Yamadas will miss you now that you are gone. But you don't have to think about them anymore. You've done a really good job. I hope that we can meet again one day. Goodbye. So that's right. Mr. Mosquito officially dies. He is officially done. He has lived a full life. He has terrorized the Yamada family for two whole years. It was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, there are There is no year three. No matter if you collect all the X tanks or not, there is no year three. So, you know, it's just interesting to see that there was a year two mode where the game is slightly harder and there's different clothes and stuff. Uh, the other different thing about year two is that when you grab the fruit, all of the different food that you could find throughout the house, they actually give you uh, codes this time around. Like, you'll pick up the food, and it will tell you a button code to input somewhere on the character select screen. And these codes will actually give you two extra costumes for Mr. Mosquito. And the first costume is... Mother Mosquito, a.k.a. Kaneo Mosquito. <laughs> Yes, you can play as a mosquito version of Kaneo, and then you put in another code, and you can become Daddy Mosquito, a.k.a. Kanichi Mosquito. Oh my god, isn't that just friggin' weird and disturbing? <laughs> Still, if you ever wanted to play through the game as Kanichi and Kaneo, uh, that option is there. There is no Rena Mosquito costume for some reason, but you can play as Kanichi and start sucking blood from Kanichi. You've got your Kanichi in my Kanichi, ha 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 ha, I don't know. <laughs> the other codes you get for collecting all of the food are some two-player mini-games as well. Like, in the title screen, if you rotate the analog stick clockwise, about 30 spins or so, the screen fades from the Mr. Mosquito title screen, and it takes you to a Reckless Bicyclist minigame, where you and a friend control a Japanese man on a bike, and you're supposed to ram each other off of this arena and knock them into the void below. Uh, as you can see in the gameplay footage, uh, I this is a two-player thing, there's no way to play with bots, and... I would have done this with a friend, but they've all been busy, and I kind of wanted to get this video done with, as well as Mega Man ZX's extra video, so that I can push on to Mega Man Legends. You know, this video is long overdue, uh, but you get the basic gist. I mean, you can pedal around, you can build up a charge meter the more you drive around, and when your charge meter is filled up all the way, you just push the circle button, and boom! You rocket boost someone off the edge, but... Uh, yeah, it's just this weird little bumper car, push your friend off the edge kind of mini game that is built into Mr. Mosquito and even has the same Mr. Mosquito like blood sucking sound effects for some reason because I don't know, maybe the developers of this game were bored and they wanted to make something else and they said, eh, let's just give it to the players as a code. Uh, okay. <laughs> So that's pretty much it with Mr. Mosquito. Uh, you got Year 2, which has some harder battles, a lot more pressure points to attack, uh, and some costumes and some two-player mini-games that you can play. And uh, you can all check them out for yourselves if you buy Mr. Mosquito, because it's a fantastic game, if a little bit weird and quirky and bizarre. So, uh, yeah, that's the extra video for Mr. Mosquito. I am done. And, uh... Now coming up is the Mega Man ZX extra video. I am finishing that at long last. Stay tuned for that.